Hi again, this is Woody from Splice. We're picking up with part two on our lesson on reformatting techniques for Avid Media Composer and Symphony. In the previous section, we learned how to do record side reformatting. In this section, we'll take a look at how to do source side reformatting. So here I have a timeline. Uh, my Composer monitor is configured for 16 by 9, and sure enough, the content is 16 by 9. I can open up one of the clips from my source bin. And that's what it looks like. What you'll find is that your clips might not fit the screen correctly if you change your uh, your project format. For example, I'm going to take this and switch it over to 4x3. So now I want to make a 4x3 output, but this footage is 16x9. So Media Composer just stretches the video footage. By default, whenever you change your project format between 16x9 and 4x3, it's just doing a, a stretch. So what we can do is change that by going to the bin, and we're just going to add uh, a column. So to do that, I'm going to switch off all of the columns by choosing the custom preset, which is simply a preset that has nothing in it. And then I can right-click or control-click on a Mac um, in the gray space where the columns normally exist. Choose, choose columns. And from there, there's an option or a column called reformat right there. This says whenever you put this footage into a timeline and it doesn't naturally fit, it's just going to stretch it. So if the aspect ratios are mix matched, stretch it. And what we can do is we can switch this to say, actually, I want you to letterbox it. So now you can see by looking at my source monitor that this clip is automatically uh, getting pillar box or letterboxing in order to preserve the original aspect ratio. I could set this to crop. So now the original aspect, let's get a picture other than Lucy Lou's behind. There we go. Uh, so now the center crop is being used. If I compare that, let's just move this down here, compare this to Letterbox, you can see that in the original footage there's actually kind of a light over there. Um, there's a, a headboard there. When I switch this to crop, we lose that content that's on the sides, but we still maintain our original aspect ratio even though we're now in the 4x3 frame. And the way we do that is by removing the content on the side. It's as though the original content is over here on the side and over there on the side just being cropped out as though this was a much wider frame. No matter what I do for these, setting them to, uh, to pillar box or stretch, you can see that it doesn't really have any effect on my timeline. If I go find the same shot on my timeline, right about there. This is the stretch version. I can still see that headboard. This is the crop version. Or maybe this is my letterbox version. Once you make these changes in your source bin, the changes don't propagate to existing clips that are already in the timeline. If it did, that would wreak havoc if you had multiple sequences all using the same shots because they'd all be changed even if the sequence wasn't already open. So what you need to do is first set up the shots in your bin as you want them to be by setting the value of the reformat column on a per shot basis. You can go ahead and do it for all of them. You just select all the box like that. After you specify the reformat value for the source clips in the bin, you have to tell the sequence to go back and refresh itself to use those new reformat options. So with the sequence or the timeline active, or the sequence selected in the bin. You go to the clip menu, choose refresh sequence and reformatting options. When you let go, it refreshes itself. And now all the shots in the timeline use the new values as specified on the source clips in the bin. If you only had some shots that you wanted to pillar box and other shots that you wanted to uh, stretch or center crop, you could specify shots on an individual basis this even works for AMA-linked footage as well as captured footage. And then refresh the sequence again. So in this scenario, I have everything letterboxed. I'm going to go find the sequence. And I'm just going to duplicate it. And say this is 16 by 9 letterbox in 4 by 3 in 4 by 3 frame. And then I can, and then I can duplicate the sequence again and say this is 16 by 9 cropped in 4x3 frame. 
open up this new one, and come back to my source bin, select all, change the reformatting option to center crop, and then come back here and refresh my timeline, clip, refresh sequence, reformatting options, and now it's center cropped. And now I have two versions of the sequence, one that I can output center cropped, and one that I can output in 4x3. And if you need to, you can combine both source side reformatting as well as record side reformatting. You just do your source side first, and that gets almost everything set up. For any particular shots you want to modify further, we put them back to being stretched, which leaves it in its unaffected form. And then go back to the effect palette of the project window, reformat category, drag, pan, and scan down, and apply it on an as need basis. That's almost the conclusion of my reformatting tutorials for you. The final thing you might need to reformat is the frame rate of the clips. Not the frame dimensions, but the frame rate from 25 to 30 or 29 or 60 or whatever frames per second. So that's going to come up in the next presentation. Thanks.